After sleeping for seven months, the Philly Lander suddenly awoke. Herbert, can you hear me? Chasing a comet. Why spacecraft Rosetta spent ten years and six billion kilometers in the solar system. Almost twenty years ago, in Cologne, Germany. European Space Center. Let's land a spacecraft on a comet. How? It's never been done before. But it's moving at 135,000 kilometers per hour. That's more than 400 times the speed of a Formula One car. But the scientists knew how. First, they launched spacecraft Rosetta and made it go around the Earth three times. Every time it went around us, it gathered more speed using the Earth's gravity like a slingshot. With no friction in outer space to slow the comet down, scientists sent it once more around Mars and used its gravity before hurling it towards the comet. The 46 feet long solar panels of the spacecraft use energy from the sun to power its batteries by moving its wings along with the movement of the sun. Once the spacecraft catches up with the comet, it will go alongside it at the same speed. And a small part of the spacecraft, known as the Philae Lander, then lands on the comet like a parachute. But why would anyone want to land on a comet? Comets are really frozen balls of rock and ice that live away from the sun, mostly behind Neptune, in a place called Kuiper Belt. When the Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago, a rain of comets hit it regularly. They brought to Earth all the water that makes the rivers and seas, and other things that helped make life on Earth. Since comets live far away and are frozen in time, scientists believe that by studying it, they will be able to understand what the solar system looked like 4.6 billion years ago. And by examining the water of the comet, we can match it with the water on Earth. After more than 10 years of hard work and 4.6 billion kilometers of travel in the solar system, in August 2014, somewhere near Jupiter, the Rosetta spacecraft caught up with a comet known as P67. Phew! Finally, we meet, and I am going to be piggyback riding on you till December 2015. Upon landing. The Philae Lander, just like a mosquito, drilled into the surface of the comet to study what it contained. I have ten tools and a special oven to send information back to Earth. This information travels back at the speed of light, but still takes 30 minutes to arrive on Earth. The speed of light. Is 299,792 kilometers per second. Meanwhile, the spacecraft would continue riding alongside the comet and take pictures. Say cheese. Send radio waves inside the 4.8 kilometer comet. The comet P67 was specially chosen as it was moving towards the sun. Melting its ice, allowing scientists to study it some more. Help! I am losing thousands of pounds of weight every minute. So far, the lander completed only some of its tasks. I'm not balanced properly as one of my three legs is not touching the floor. I get only one and a half hours of sunlight. Instead of five hours, I expected, as I have landed in the shadow of a cliff. The Philae mission tweeted, "My hashtag life on a comet has just begun. I am going to for a while and recharge my batteries. But I'm now awake and sending my findings back to Earth." 
Fred Johnson, the team leader at ESA, is a happy man. We've managed such a difficult project and quite well. And soon we'll be able to tell the world what we have learned. 